you in the language of this country, but then we'd be here all day. Today on Orderly Treats with No Meats, we're headed to Bolivia. This is a signature dish from the vibrant, wonderful city of La Paz. Bolivia is a somewhat large country in the middle of South America. It is part of Latin America with a very diverse, multi-ethnic population. In fact, the country has 37 official languages in total. This includes Spanish, Quechua, and Guarani, as well as tons of native languages, including some that are now extinct. Bolivia was first inhibited 2,500 years ago by the Amara people, mostly centered around the ancient city of Timanaco. In the late 1400s and early 1500s, the Inca Empire moved in to take control of the land. Only a few short years later, the Spanish colonized the Inca Empire, and the territory of Bolivia became known as Charcas, and was sometimes known as Upper Peru. Bolivia's push for independence marked the first cry of freedom in Latin America. They allied with Peru and soon faced wars against Chile and Argentina. After Peru gained its independence, they then turned around and invaded Bolivia. A treaty was signed to end the wars. Bolivia was fully independent but ended up losing the only land it had connecting them to the Pacific Ocean. Today one of the most notable features of Bolivia is its co-ownership of the large and beautiful lake Titicaca with Peru. It has a vastly biodiversity that covers many mountains. The city of La Paz sits more than 3,500 meters above sea level. Bolivia's constitution declares that its capital city, Sucre, but the seat of government has been located in La Paz since 1839. 44% of the country's population are indigenous in one way or another. For this you will need two fresh corn on the cob with the husks, three quarters of a pound of peeled lima beans, two potatoes, and fresh casello, which is a cheese I could not find, so I used halloum, uh, oil or butter to fry the cheese in, and one cup of yaiwa, it's a spicy tomato and chili sauce that I could not locate, so I use salsa. At the bottom of a large pot, put the corn husks, more or less three inches high, and add boiling water until covering them. Place the pot over high heat. As soon as the water boils, add the corn and the lima beans, separated by corn husks. Let it boil for 25 minutes or more. Add the washed potatoes and cover with more corn husks. Let it boil for another 20 minutes or until all the vegetables are cooked. In a large pan, heat oil over medium high heat, fry cheese slices until golden. Do not let them burn. On each plate, serve one corn on the cob, lima beans, one potato, and slices of fried cheese. Add the yaiwa as desired. First plate. Cheese first, of course. Mmm. Mm. Fried cheese. Who doesn't like fried cheese? Very tasty. Fresh boiled potato with salsa. Mm, very good. So many different flavors, it's very good. I'm going to be good. Plate of corn. Mmm. That was a very interesting meal. The, the, the fried cheese is awesome, and just mixing it all together with the salsa on top blends all the flavors in it. Just very tasty.